Hey guys, it's Aaron the Hope from MobileReviewsA.ca and today we are going to do the review for the Cedio Obex for the iPhone 6. Now, I was pretty excited to review this case only because the Cedio Obex for the iPhone 5 was actually one of my most favorite iPhone 5 cases. It was incredibly slim, felt very well built. I cannot say the same for this Obex. I'm a little disappointed. This waterproof iPhone case is pretty decent in terms of the design, though we managed to lose a part of the case. Protection is a little lower than your average waterproof case, and if you've seen our drop test, you'll know why. Accessing your iPhone inside this case is pretty average, and accessing your iPhone's touchscreen is perhaps its greatest strength, but it's not perfect. Now, based on our time with the case, we gave it a score of 3.7 A's out of 5. This case scores a little lower than the lifeproof free and a tad higher than the dog and bone wetsuit, but it's still not a case that we'd go out of our way to recommend. If you want to read the rest of this review, check out the review table on our website and if you're stuck on which waterproof case to get for your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, check out our handy dandy comparison tool. And if you really don't want to read, I will go through a couple of big differences between the dog and bone wetsuit, the life proof and the CDO Obex towards the end of the video. Real usage, real reviews, mobile reviews a eh? .ca. At Mobile Reviews A, we base our reviews on actual usage, which means we actually use them. We just don't take it out of the box, look at it, and say it's pretty, and then read some of the descriptions on the back of the box and say, yeah, it's a decent case, you should definitely get it. We actually put our iPhones in harm's way, as you've seen in their drop tests. In terms of the design, the Obex is a decently sized waterproof iPhone case. It's thinner than the OtterBox Defender and Ballistic Hardguard, and those cases are not waterproof, but it's not as thin as the LifeProof Free. Surprisingly, it's really not that much bigger than a spec candy shell, though it costs twice as much. Installing the case is fairly simple. It's your standard snap two cases of plastic together, but during one of our numerous installs and uninstalls, we lost a plastic piece that fits into the mute switch, so now we can't change the mute status of the iPhone inside the case. In terms of build quality, the case does fit fairly well, but from our drop test, the Obex did get a little mangled. The last edge drop that we did left a pretty sizable dent on the front of the case. Other than that, case does feel quite nice as the rubber edges keep the iPhone in your hand and the two rubber strips on the back prevent it from sliding a tad. Before we move on to protection, I do have to note that Obex is Latin and barrier. I was trying to find something to make fun of on their marketing jumbo mumbo on the back, but that's kind of what I've discovered and it's good to know, I guess. In terms of protection, I'm not too thrilled with this Obex. It's waterproof and shockproof up to 6 meters, but from our drop test, we discovered that the case has a tendency to split. The iPhone doesn't come flying out of the case, but if the case was to land on a dock, split open a tad, and then fall into a lake or ocean, your iPhone's going to be a goner. If you really do want to see how the case fares, do check out the drop and water test video that we've done for the Obex. In terms of screen protection, it has a built-in screen protector and it's fairly thick and the edges of the case are actually pretty low. So, but the combination of the low edges, but you've got the screen protector, it's going to protect your iPhone's touchscreen fairly well. Now getting to your iPhone inside the case is pretty important and the Obex has a couple of flaws. First of all, the Obex really only allows you to use Apple-only cables. The lightning port isn't large enough for larger cables, and that's the same for the headphone jack cutout. CDO does include a headphone jack extension that you can use, which also keeps the case waterproof as you have to lock the extension into the case, which is nice. In terms of sound, talking through the case isn't a problem, but you might notice a slight muting of sound coming from the earpiece speaker. Now, in terms of sound coming out of the bottom of the case, it's a little muted, but I do have to give props to CDO for trying something different. With the Obex, sound is diverted from the bottom of the case to the back of the case and it comes out of this small grill on the back. It does look like they try to do some sort of amplification chamber of sort but the sound isn't louder at all. I will note that there are two holes where it looks like sound is supposed to come out but doesn't. Uh, these two holes can be used as an attachment point for a wrist strap. Wrist strap is not included with the uh, Obex. In terms of getting to the touch ID or the camera flash, no issues there and there was no noticeable signal attenuation either. In terms of accessing your iPhone screen, there is a slight gap between the touch screen and the screen protector, but you really have to go to your way to look at it. The edges, because they're the low height, allow you to get to everything on your iPhone's touch screen easily, such as your command center. In terms of screen availability, the Obex is pretty average in terms of screen availability. I will note that the screen protector that CDO uses has a grid of dots, and these dots are theoretically, from our understanding, supposed to reduce rainbowing effects, but as you can tell on our iPhone case, there's rainbows. One of the viewers did mention that the CDO for their Android phone actually left a bunch of dots on their iPhone. So that grid actually transferred the dots onto the iPhone, like scratched them permanently. I can't say for sure that this will happen with this case, 
Glare is kept to a minimum, and as you've seen earlier, there is a rainbowing effect, which is a little annoying. Fingerprinting isn't any worse when compared to a naked iPhone, and if it's too grimy, all you gotta do is just give your iPhone a good rinse. So that's all we got for this CDO Obex. Again, we gave it a score 3.8 A's out of five. It's a pretty average waterproof case, and given that it's pretty expensive, yeah, I wouldn't go out of my way to recommend it. Now, before I talk about the differences between the free and the dog and mo wetsuit, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. Uh, we produce videos two to three times a week, so there's going to be something different every single week. You won't be bored. Now, between these three cases, the wetsuit, the free, and the Obex, I personally would go with the free. I think it's it's the better design case out of these three cases for now. Um, I'm <laughs> The Free only got 3.8 A's out of 5 as well, so it's not too terrible between the Obex and the Free. The Dog and Bone Wetsu is definitely the tougher case. This case didn't break during any of our drops, both the Free and the Obex have. In terms of accessing your iPhone in these cases, they're all pretty decent. There is no touchscreen on the uh, Dog and Bone Wetsu, which is pretty neat, it's kind of like a nude. Uh, but you actually, it's pretty hard to get to the edges of your iPhone, because the edges on this case are pretty pretty significant. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. I'm Aaron the Ho. Um, thank you for watching.